I back a little bit. That was going really fantastically. Um, um, from there, maybe. Oh. Whip and wood here. No bar numbers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well done. Well done. Excellent. Um, you know, you're the, in the strong playing, you are really terrific. When it needs to be lighter, you could be much lighter, I think. And, and what would be interesting to do is to work a little bit more at the spiccato, okay. which um, when you play uh, off the string, you play always right at the heel of the bow, the frog, uh, which is uh, it's not a very delicate place to play. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're playing... <laughs> this is a better place than... Because <laughs> it tends to come... Obviously, it's too loud, you know. Yeah. So, um, uh, the, and uh, the first time you have it, which is here, um, you know, with these octaves... Uh, <laughs> This thing. Oh. Whatever the notes are, you know, I, I think you could. Uh, we've got to find a way to come better off a string. So um, let's let's start with that. That this is a technical thing, really. Um, could you just play me from uh, just just that passage, in fact, just by yourself, um, directly yeah. from there? I know it's a horrible Can place I start to start. Anywhere you like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean. You see, you, do you, well, this is the question. You see, what you're doing, the reason it's not really coming off the string is that the way you're holding the bow is great for a powerful stroke because you, you've got your fingers really down here. But when you want to come off the, off the bow, come, uh, jump off the string, imagine this is a horse. And if you're sitting on a horse like this, it's not going to jump over the fence. You know, if you watch a jockey, they go right forward off the horse and it jumps. And similar with the bow, you see, the, the bow, if you take the weight off in the hand, it will jump better. You know, so this is the, this is the, on the string, you know. Now, watch my hand. So the higher I bring this, the more it, it will come off the string like that, you see. So I wonder if you can just try, just as, keep playing the stroke. But just little by little, bring your fingers higher onto the stick. See if you can do that. See if it makes a difference. Just play on open string or, or you know, maybe the same pattern. Pop, 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 pop. This is <laughs> bring the middle finger. The middle finger. Bring that slightly higher. So it's not. So this way, it keeps it way on the string. And as soon as you do this, it will come off. Is it still like this? It is uh, that finger, that finger. Just, it's, it's like this. And, well, is it, sorry, what was your question? Is it off the string? Yeah, is it uh, like lighter? Well, listen, uh, that's what I want. It's got a bit different to it. That's better. That's already better. I wonder if it could jump more still. A little off the string. Ah, that's it. Now you're getting it. That, that's, that's, could be even more, but it's cl better, better. You see, the, I, I'm really almost flying off the, like this, you know. The, the, I think, because if I want to go... You see the difference? Okay, I want to give you a, an exercise uh, exactly about this. Um, we, we, we can do it at a slower speed first. And it, it's just about go from going off the string to on the string and back off the string. It's a dynamic thing. I'll show it to you in slow motion. That's all it is. So you see, I went from jumping off the string, bit as loud as I could, and then I went on the string using lots of arm, and then back to, can you do that? So, so just once you get the pattern, which is, uh, for instance, I think it's a nice one to do. So it's one on the A string, two on the D, That's it.
that's the idea. That's the idea. Now, to make to to perfect that better, um, see if you can start a little higher up the bow. So not not there, but there. Sort of. Yeah, there, there's a kind of balance point, isn't there, in the middle of the bow, just just about where the bow begins to go up again. You know, like that in the. Yeah. So now, what I want you to do is, when you go loud. I want you to go on the string and you watch my elbow. I want you to open up from there. Not just there, that, but imagine you're, you know, really, uh, well, I always, there's, I think the best analogy is ironing. You know, if you're ironing in a hurry, <laughs> you know. getting it, it's really good. The, the thing that's pulling you back still is the way you hold the bow, which is, again, it's still in the power mode, <laughs> you know, this way, oh, like this. You need to be more, the fingers need to be more flexible, like springs. In a, imagine you know, your, your suspension in the car, you know, the way it, it doesn't, it's a little bit like this, and, and you see, all the, everything has to move. It has to just go with the, with the jump. You know, if you're, if you're stiff, the, the sound is like that. If you're more flexible, it'll be lighter. Mm -hmm. So that is what you've got to look out for. Good. That's the idea. Yeah, that's it. So in fact, you see, the, the, as you know, I mean, you've got these joints, these joints, and these joints. So everything is working harmoniously, you know, together. A and, and not just this or just that. You know, it's just a flowing movement. Okay, enough about that. Um, so, uh, what, what I was thinking here, when you play this, maybe the bowing, maybe if you did a, um, let's think, if you played, uh, you, you know, with a little bit more bow, do you have a pencil here? Uh, is there anything to write with, just to, that we can lightly put something in? Oh, thanks. Um, I, I just thought you were a little stuck there. Um, do you, do you see what I did? So, down bow, yeah, then up, and then change. And why not? Why not? Because you, you were playing all in one bow, I think. Right. Yeah, this way you're more free and the, the sound isn't so pressed, you see? Mm -hmm. Want to try that again? Is that a pen? A pencil? Oh no, I better. It's a pen. That, yeah, that sound is good. And the second time, the same thing. Yeah. Good. Much better. Go on now. Yeah. 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 So what I would do here is, yeah. What I would do is now use what we've learned with that exercise and use a lot of bow for the shifting note. So. See, so I um, I help myself by using doing wah on the on the shift. Yeah, so and then relax and then whatever it is. So you see, by doing that, I get myself in a better part of the bow. You know, and I'm now in the middle. I'm not down there. Right. That's exactly what I think was missing when you when you played it. So you've got to experiment a bit with that. Um, uh, you can remember this. I don't have to write it, do I? No. no. Um, and, and the same thing here when you go to the high C sharp. Let's try that. <laughs> Great. Um, now, uh, sometimes you, you're rushing uh, groups of, of 16th notes, you know, a little bit. Um, this was great. I love the way you started. 
Um, I wonder whether this is the best fingering, actually, for this. Uh, come this uh, um, because you come on the thumb. What? How do you play that? I play it up here. Yeah, can you play? Can you play that? Oh, I, of course it's. I see. What is this note? As an F sharp. No. I see. Maybe. It's just this doesn't sound. There is another place to put this. Ah, here, of course. You could do it there, which would be maybe a little clearer. So we come down. Yeah, it's just. This, this wasn't the best. Could you do it slowly one time? Mm, you see what I mean? It's for the intonation and what everything is not great. That was a bit better. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to just move my... Oh. Yeah, I think I might go down the D string. Uh, just to try something different. It might be clearer. So that I have second finger on A sharp. This. So then, so uh, probably, you see, it's clear. If we start from that, yes. It's there, it is there, yeah. Yeah. So try one more time. Put your thumb across. Yes. So, uh, what I would probably do is separate three, one, come. There it is. Um, just, I only suggest that because I thought you were having, for five months' practice, that wasn't quite working as it should. Mm -hmm. So, this, I'm going to write this one in. Two, thumb, Three, one, and the D string, that was the G string, and so on. Okay? Right, now, uh, can you play from letter B? Oh, uh, the uh, ba -ba 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 where the melody starts here. Yeah. Time that's like a three bar. He, uh, di, uh, da, 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 da. Now, take more time at the top when you get to the E. Take longer on the E. Can you go from the bar before? Da, ya, da, di, from the trill. Then, you know, take your time on on the top E, so it's more vocal. Okay. Yeah. you play forte. Yes, I did transfer to piano later here. In the, I mean, it's yeah, not that's my intention to transfer later, but... Uh, here, you mean? Because we, we're here now. Uh, yes. I, I, I think it would be nice if you... If, because the harmony kind of suggests that it's, it's a little bit less... Uh, you know, not sort of... It's a little bit uh, all the same, you know? 
Let's go from Dolce. I think it makes more sense there than, you know, than when you have these um, turns, maybe you could be not so late. <laughs> so that they're more part of the melody. Rather than A little slower, in fact. Yeah. Earlier and slower. So should we go from, from there, exactly? Is it a good place? Yeah. Almost spread it out a little. practices a lot about saying well maybe the printed uh, bowings are not absolutely uh, you know should we say what biblical importance you know mm -hmm. they can be you can be freer with the bow for instance here four and four and four I, I would you know this is a cadenza and it sounds just like you're a little struggling there see if, well, if you took more bows like you did here it'll sound better just, okay. just try, try changing bow every beat Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, okay. for instance, let's try that. Yeah. Immediate, immediate success. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Let's do that. And you know, I, even that kind of thing, if, I, if I'm playing, you know, I was like, rather than, it's too difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't actually, um, it doesn't really help. I would just separate that. It's, it's more uh, um, you know, impressive, should we say, when you get there. Let's try that. Okay. Separate the, the big shift. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Okay. Separate those. All, all three. So that you're very, very uh, free on the top. Even, even one more note. That's it. That's great. That will help, will help a lot. A lot, really. Um, now, uh, let's look at this place here. Um, just play it by yourself one time. Okay. Yeah, what's a... It's a long time since I played this one. Really. Would make more sense. This is... This is the wrong way around, isn't it? You play, which is what's written. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we played, if we just did some. Just see how easy that is comp in comparison. Three in a bow. So yeah. and do it in the middle, in the middle of the bow. I'm, I, I'm trying to encourage you to get out of this area. And be a little bit freer in the bow, more middly. So it's more flexible, you see. Mm -hmm. Here you're a little bit locked in one kind of sound. Okay. Yeah. I know you're used to that finger. You've done it a lot. Well, it's not the fingering, it's the, it's the, the bow. Bowing. Yeah, because it, it's just. easier mm -hmm. you know this is the thing is this is kind of like a, a, a study thing you know can you can you do it all right say so, well I can do this but actually much more comfortable is 
but uh, I don't need to work so hard. Now, great, great. Do that in the middle of the bow. That's it. Okay, so try third. Think. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, I think you'll find it very easy when you get it. Yeah. Same thing. Then you, the thing is, you, you only need a little bit of bow. enough to make it sparkle out like that. Tiny bow. Can you, that's good. Can you reach the F sharp on a third finger? The another four. Yes. What do you think? It's more natural, the yeah. third finger. You know, if you have that stretch, use it. The four finger is, yeah. It's not so great. <laughs> so, um, I mean, we have to use the fourth finger, but uh, yeah, again, you know, don't make life harder than it is already. <laughs> and, and this kind of tenth, you know, we need to know that distance. Anyway, that just, it's just octave plus third, you know. Right. Okay, so. That's going to work. Better. Only a few days' practice, I think, will sound better. Yeah. yeah. Okay? And if you do it in double stopping to check the... Yeah, you, yeah. yeah, exactly. Very, very good. So, you know, the whole feeling is much more easy like this and not such hard work like that, you know. Okay, uh, then uh, let's go from there. So just, just on your own again, because just, it's just technical things I want to... Yeah, I would. Th what's he written? He's written up bow. Do you do that or do you do? No. no. That's good. Yeah. Good. Yes, that's it. Yeah. yeah that that does that. Does, I would do. Down bow, not. And then maybe fours. Okay. Just do it slow one time. Yeah. So. Same thing. You got a bit low. You got a bit under, but that's going to be better with the with the bowing. I mean, mm -hmm. it's definitely in fours, but you know, just so you have more space. Right. It sounds because you're so high up on the G string, you know, it sounds a bit muffled mm -hmm. uh, if you put too many notes in the bow. I think. Um, so, y you know, you don't have to accent it, but but it'll just be freer. That's the, that's what I'm trying to, to get. Um, yeah, good. Because um, sh this, for instance, you didn't do it the middle before, did you? It was more down here, I think. Yes. Yeah, but it sounds better now. Um, would you like to... Well, w should we do that again with piano? Just sure. Just, but maybe a little under tempo so you can remember yeah, the remember changes. Everything. Yeah, okay. yeah, just take it, take it carefully. If you slurred those notes, sorry, sorry. Instead of, it'll be better. What is this? Sorry. Yeah, but just put a slur on these first two notes, uh, second two notes. Bom, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Here also? Uh, oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. No wonder. Exactly. And then it's the same thing. I think there isn't there a gap. There's a bit of a hole. Bump, mm -hmm. Yom, bada, dom. Same thing. One more time. Slur. Yes. How about open? Well, even easier would be. Um, Let's do that. Open string. 
Once legato, then really of the string. So you have, you're in the string. Not too short. Yeah, well, you could do what you did. That's also good. As long as it, it's long. Good. There, there, sorry, there, there you're losing the pitch a little bit. Yes. You're just very well up to there. La -da -di -o -da. Just, can you find that C flat? Um. It's just like a B. Yeah. Uh, okay, you can you can fix that. Just That's what you mean. Yeah. Much yeah, that's what that's what. Okay, let's go on after that. Yeah. Um. Off the string. Yeah. Same it, 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 it's like this, and I want more, like a stirring coffee. You know, this feeling of in the wrist and fingers. It's it's that's the that's what's holding you back. <laughs> exactly. So what are the notes? So you're playing. Because you know there, there is a, a natural place for the for the bow to jump, which is it's not that. Because if I put the bow on the, it's about. It depends on every bow; it's a little different, but it's about there. This is the best place. So if I move it down, instead of getting on the string, I move it up again, come off the string. If I move it beyond there; it's going on the string. So there's a, a magic spot. It's okay because I mean, when we did the exercise, you you came more off the string. You know, it, it's just doing everything at the same time. The left hand problem, uh, you know, and, and I think what what you'll do is you'll experiment with that. Think about what I said about this. Mm -hmm. If you if you see yourself in the mirror, you say, oh wow, that is very. Maybe I could be a little more like this. You know, because th you know the fingertips are the most sensitive part of your hand. You know, this is why we pick, play, you know, you don't have to have a cello lesson or any lesson to pick up a pencil. And nobody picks up a pencil like that, you know. They, they were, you know, they fiddle around like this, you know, and so on. And, and that's why, you know, and so when you're playing with a bow as well, this kind of, uh, you know, flexibility is really important. I find uh, actually the pencil exercises is very good because, you know, then you take the bow and you say, wait a second. Aha, uh -huh. oh yeah, it's a very heavy thing in comparison to a pencil, but yeah. you get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so this is just food for thought, you know, for, for you and to, to, to see what you can do, because you know, in general you're really terrific. Um, let's look a little bit at the n where, where you started there, you know. This, I, I just wanted it even more singing out, you know. Um, Again, possibly some changes of bowing might be useful, but we'll see. Okay. Yes, yes. That, that, that open A string is a little bit harsh. shouty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, do we need that? Maybe a fourth finger would be enough, you know, like you mm -hmm. started. Uh, I think I would do. Pass around the corner. Uh, whatever it is, yeah. 
but I, I think that the adi we should avoid. Let's try in two and two, so we have even more uh, big crescendo up to the A. <laughs> That's lovely. Maybe, maybe even uh, that's fine, as long as it's not four fingers. I just oh, so complimenting you. This I would sorry. This I would divide. So you have maybe less this time because it's going further. Then you've got. You know, a bit more warm. So maybe just go bar before. So, so it's really sighing, you know. Um, Is it right? Bar before? That could be lighter. So don't press so hard with the bow. Sounds like it should be on on the uh, A string, you know, because it's your forte. <laughs> Maybe just come down. <laughs> so it is. That's what you do it on the A string. Okay, but try that on the A string. <laughs> I would do uh, one on the D, three one, four one, four one, three. So. Yeah, that sounds that sounds brighter. Uh, so I take more bows as well. Yeah, like that. Ding. Uh, what do I do? One, three, one, four, one, four, one. 
string put on, and then just go up the D string as you wear it. Yeah, can that be? A little bit faster? Up, 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 up. Uh, that was, you're doing this fingering. Let's just do it in stages. Maybe just the, each group like that. The first thing I would do is, is a different thing here. Do, and then change. And then change on there. Yeah, that's it. So if you can do each little group in quite fast. You know, then you'll get it, you can put it together bit by bit like that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it takes a very long time to get. Yes. That's the way to work at it, okay? Uh, now, this. I wonder if we did <laughs> up bow. So you have two slurs, then up. Sorry. So you get the, the high note on an up bow. It rings better, you see? So just try that slowly once. The two slur, down bow slur, two notes, and then up bow, up bow, up bow, up bow, and then. Yeah. Oh, you don't, you don't need to spend your time going. Like this, just play one more note up, up in that area. The reason I did it was because I could get, be ready for this position. But you know what? This position is very easy because of the harmonic. You, you know where that is? Yes. So, okay. Yeah, so, so that, that's the thing. I mean, it's logical what, you, what you're saying, but you don't need to wait like that, you see? So it's just moving back to this position where you know where it is. It'll be good. Yeah? You see? And now, and now if you did it the other way around with the bowing, so you end in an up bow yeah. on the top note, but do it slowly so you can get the idea. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I think that'll be more mm -hmm. flary. You know, it'll be good. Yeah, that's it. And um, uh, yes, so, so go on from, from there with the piano, maybe going on to the second one, where it starts developing. Yes, now, the, tr the same problem, when you're high up on the cello, high, you know, the string shorter, we need to go longer with the bow, otherwise it's too much percussion and not enough sound. You know, not enough, I don't really hear the, the notes. Can you get on the string and a little longer? This a little shorter, so it's um, whatever the notes are, but short stop the bow. You could just a mordant, something like that, just so it doesn't take so long. Yeah, See, uh, that's the idea. So it's that kind of bowing. Yeah. 
that's better. Chant, just play it once as octaves, just together, and, and don't and, and keep going. You know, don't get so slow. That's it. One more time. It's, so, it's, so it's chromatic until the A B, isn't it? So it's all semitones until the very end, so you can be quite brave. <laughs> just the end. So, I, I see, I want to make it just go a little bit more. Let's just try it. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. That's it. Um, if, if we go, maybe, off the string at the beginning. You know, what it is. When you get to the A, you know, get on the string when you get to there. Yeah, that's excellent. So, I mean, basically, it, it, it's talking about finding different parts of the bow to play in. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's, the, that's the most... Uh, revealing thing, I would say, coming out of that. Good, well done. Thank you. Okay. <coughs>